<clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for another installment in my humorous stories from my life. Uh, uh, I got a quite a positive response to my first story from a good friend of mine. It really made me feel good. So, uh, I don't know, maybe these humorous stories will strike people in different ways and it'll make, make their day. I don't know. But anyways, this was back in, I think, 2001, probably. 2000. We were living in Tokyo at the time. And um, for international schools, we lived in Tokyo. But I had an apartment up two, two hours north uh, in the Utsunomiya area. And I would just come home on the weekends. Uh, so uh, every Monday morning, I would drive the two hour uh, uh, trip on the toll road up to my job, leave early, early in the morning. On this one particular day, um, well, let me just say, in, in Tokyo it rarely snows. And if it does snow, you rarely get any kind of a, um, a build up on the roads or on the streets. But anyways, on this particular day, and it happened to fall on a Monday morning, right as I needed to take this two-hour trek on a good day, two hours, uh, on the toll road up north. And we got dumped on the snow. And, uh, and uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe about that much snow, probably. But for a, a city that rarely sees snow, I mean, they, it, <laughs> it wreaks havoc on, the, uh, on traffic, so... Anyway, so I made my way and uh, cleared off the car and got in the car and headed up uh, to the entrance to the toll road. And I get up there and they say, chains are required. And um, I'm kind of surprised that I had chains. I must have purchased them or maybe they came with the car. <laughs> I bought a used car. It was a... And it was a... It was a Honda Civic-like car, but it was called the Domani. It was a Japanese-only version. I can't, it was basically a Civic on a, a, a small little um, four-door Civic. Anyway, so um, I think prior to get going into the entrance of the toll road, I had to stop and pull off to the side of the road and put my tires, uh, I mean my chains on, these rubber chains and I think it was probably the first time I ever used them. And anyway, so I got the, the, the chains on my car and I proceeded up, up the highway. And uh, on, the, on the toll roads in Japan, they go pretty, in normal situation, they go pretty fast. But there was, you know, snow everywhere. The, uh, um, the emergency lanes on both sides were, you know, piled up with with uh, slush and so there wasn't any if something were to happen it was not a very safe place to pull off the side road and do it, deal with it but anyway so I started driving <laughs> with these chains on and then uh, about I don't know how far into it maybe 30 minutes into my drive the, one of the chains came loose <laughs> And it started beating the crap out of my fender. It sounded like uh, a, uh, a drum solo from the uh, heaviest metal band you've ever heard. But I was thinking, oh, I got to pull over and you know fix this, or I'm going to ruin my car, ruin my fender, or something. But there was no safe place, and you know. Semi zooming by, you know, full speed weather with their chains on, and <coughs> this much slush or snow on both, <coughs> both um, uh, emergency lanes, whatever. So I thought, oh, no, I'm not gonna chance. I'm not gonna get myself killed uh, because of this <laughs> chain that came loose on my my car. So what is normally a two-hour uh, 
drive to, um, and of course all of that is not on the toll road, but two hour trip, it ended up taking me like five hours. But anyway, all the way up the, uh, the, um, the toll road at close to, you know, full speed. And I could hardly hear anything. It was beating the heck out of my and the faster I'd go, it was so loud. I thought, oh no, this is not going to be good when I uh, take take a look at this. So I, when I uh, uh, got up off the toll road, uh, you know, a couple hours north, and I pulled off this, I think I pulled off the side road to take a look at it. And that, that painted fender... There wasn't any paint left. It was a shiny silver, <laughs> silver fender that looked like it'd been beat to death with a, a ball peen hammer. Oh my heavens! And the whole trip took me like five hours to get into work. I was way I showed up about lunchtime or something like that. Oh my heavens! So, but you know, I could have tried to stop on that toll road and got killed by a semi that was going by. Anyway, so I'm trying to remember what happened to that car. Oh, when I left Japan, in Japan, it's very difficult to get rid of a, a used car. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, you can't give them away. And uh, rather than, I think, you, to, to scrap it, you have to pay like a couple hundred bucks to scrap a car. And I think if I remember correctly, I don't remember having that repaired or painted. <laughs> but a good friend of mine uh, who just moved to Tokyo needed a car, and so I, I gave him the car. <laughs> but uh, I think it was, yeah, it still had the bald fender. But anyway, so one of my crazy tales, stupid things I've done. Was it stupid? Man, I saved my life, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it cost me a fender, but eh. Anyway, so thank you for listening. Bye-bye.